I am in the process of building cabinets for my kitchen and to speed up building the face frames I created a program that spits out my cut list from Excel so I just enter that I'm making an 18 inch wide cabinet and it spits out all the measurements of the face frame that I need for a inset beaded face frame. So part of this operation is cutting and then I have a jig that I place on this table that will also do the notches with my router. Um, but right now I'm going to show you what I did with the, uh, my miter saw and I'll post another video on the notching jig. The cut list I paste into where normally you would put G-code in, uh, but I've made the macro where it reads it line by line and then converts it into just Y movement G-code. And this is pretty simple uh, cut list. These are just square uh, face frames, but it becomes a lot more helpful when building a face frame for a series of cabinets that are all connected um, and share one face frame. And then when you have drawers, um, different drawers that are, and then just normal doors and all that mixed together, it's easy to get things uh, mixed around. Um, so this makes it where there aren't as many mistakes um, as if you were doing it all manually. So to start things off, I set this uh, 12 inch, which is measuring the distance between the blade being down and the stop block where it's zeroed. And so that will be subtracted from each of these cuts uh, when creating the G code. So we'll click our first measurement. And so the CNC is now moving. Here's a video of me making the face frame using the program. I bumped my Waze camera that I used to watch my CNC. There you have it. Let me know what you think of this. It was a pretty simple run that we did. We created three uh, different face frames. It gets a lot um, more beneficial when you're doing multiple cabinets in a row that are all interconnected and have uh, drawers and doors. Um, so this one was pretty simple. Um, if you find this interesting, uh, please like and subscribe to the video. And let me know in the comments what you think if I should make a little web app. Um, I've started uh, making a few different tools and I'll include a link to my website, but if I should polish this up, make it a web app, and then also um, clean up my macro. There's a little bug in the macro right now where it doesn't work uh, fully. Um, so you have to launch it in the debugger. Uh, but let me know if, you, if I should clean all that up and uh, post it. And if others would find this useful, I've sure found it very useful.